back to it. It is your Feel Good Breakfast Show. It's Express so live right here on SABC3. Thank you so much for choosing to wake up with us this morning. Uh, it's time for us to take a look at uh, the world of technology. I'm finding that every day uh, the world is becoming more and more movie-like. We're starting to see things we saw in movies yeah. uh, maybe 20 years ago, 15 years ago, really come to life today. Very What's true. Happening? One of the companies making that happen, Tesla, of course, uh, and they've long indicated that uh, they want uh, their car system displays to not only provide information, but also entertainment as well. And so to that end, Elon Musk says that the cars will soon be able to stream video from Netflix and YouTube. Um, now, Tesla has already unveiled games that drivers can play on, on their displays. And of While you're driving? No, 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 no. The games only work when the car's parked. Okay. I'm you, <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah. And players can then use the steering wheel as a controller so um, the same then in this case although uh, Musk notes that the when regulators do approve self-driving Tesla will allow passengers to then be able to stream videos while the car is in motion that's the plan going forward that is so scary really are you not scared? It? No, I'm excited. It's, it's technology, it's man. It's exciting. Yeah. It's, yeah. Anyway, uh, Musk didn't unveil a timeline for the feature to roll out yet, but there are huge concerns that would come with any such feature, if you could imagine it. Of course, test vehicles are required to have a driver behind the wheel to take over in case something wrong um, happens. Mm. And even as self-driving technology does improve, it, it's hard to imagine um, that, you know, it, so it, it won't go away completely yeah, yeah. because there, there's always like an emergency, unless if we we find ourselves in a system where the roads yeah. kind of regulate the cars, you know what I mean? So there's a constant flow of traffic yeah. that if something had to go wrong, all the cars come to a grinding yes. halt and you don't yeah. need a human being to step in yeah. in self-driving cars. And we'd also need, I think, I suppose, society where everybody is in a self-driving car. Uh, and so if they brought those cars or here... Neighborhoods, or neighbourhoods, just neighbourhoods. neighbourhoods, yeah. neighbourhoods. But like, taxis go everywhere and so yeah. until you have like self-driving taxis i'm just nervous to be like trying to watch a series while I'm... they already have that in dubai <laughs> somewhere along the lines there you know just, hey, you know what? It's, it's, it's happening you better just tune in get it's into the I need to arrive <laughs> i need to arrive i must land it's a clear day oh man well this is exciting it's exciting yeah. and scary well listen to this one so earlier this month president uh, french uh, french president uh, emmanuel macron announced the creation of a french space force that would be responsible for defending its satellites now wow. uh, the minister of france's defense uh, has announced a program that would develop nano satellites equipped with guns and lasers so they announced that the country yeah, would be reallocating 700 million euros from the oh, military wow. budget for space defense with more than 4.3 billion euros to be spent by 2025, which is not too long wow. from now. Now, the military wants the next generation of satellites to come with cameras to identify adversaries with a follow-up generation equipped with sub uh, submachine guns and lasers to attack and disable other satellites. It's just mind-blowing. Wow. Now, according to the minister, the goal isn't to go on the offensive to take out the enemy satellites, but they're saying here that active defense is not an offensive strategy. It's self-defense. You nearly did that in a French accent. I'm yeah, I tried. Like, the okay, first word, yeah, I was yeah, like, ah, yeah, uh, yeah, no, yeah. Let, let's leave but it. But maybe, maybe... Uh, a reasonable course of action if you if you have a look at what's been happening in the gulf very recently mm. with the with those um massive boats being captured by yeah. both iran and britain as well so maybe proactive yeah. i think yes if you're under strategy. threat or if you've seen it happen you know that it's possible then you you must be prepared for when it does happen to you see I guess. we talk about self-driving cars we're already living in the age of star wars yeah. there's going to be satellites that, armed yeah. with lasers and doo -doo 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 -doo. Yeah. Yeah. that's just so crazy uh but do let us know which uh news stories from the world of technology have caught your attention this yeah. morning and share them with us on social media using hashtag expressive show correct now uh this morning gareth woods uh, joins us in the launch to review the latest highly anticipated game that's been released it's marvel ultimate alliance 3 here's graham with uh, gareth <laughs> 